My name is Verna Ellsworth. I am from the Slothup as Sartlup, but our First Nations race. Uh, of Land of the Maples, born and raised here. Uh, my traditional name is Hannah Smead. And I, um, who am I? I'm a wife of almost 40 years. I have six children and seven grandchildren. When the treaty was signed in 1850, um, it certainly changed because our land was what they call free and formally, but now we've, it's been condensed to, it's just getting closer and closer, smaller and smaller on a scale, and that it's still unceded because we have never given up our right to our lands. But that's the work of the here and the now, and it's been today, but it's been in the works since the Douglas Treaty was signed. Even though it's 14 bands up Forest Port Hardy, um, I think that may be still the same, and I'm not really up to date as to who's actually did a new, a new treaty signing. So it means a lot is, is our livelihood, is as we speak still at a, a 1 to 10 being the worst, we're probably at 7 yet. And I want to be able to somehow open that gate wider than where we are today, because it, to me, it's like that's just kind of getting narrower and narrower to smaller and smaller base. We do not need a license to hunt fish, but how are you going to get a gun at talking about hunting? You cannot buy a gun and you cannot buy bullets without that license. So it's a catch-22. My husband's always had to, probably 10 years ago, buy get the license to be able to do that. I don't need the license because I have rights, but without that piece of paper, that gives me the tool to put in, get the gun to be able to go and, and gather food. I have my rights, but I have to compromise because it's a piece of paper I need. That's how I see it today. Part of this truth and reconciliation where we're at today is that we need to implement the the, the rights of all Sanus people. I remember the Sanus to Marina and how we all went over there and fought for them. And even though we won, because they went in with their machinery and they dredged, that that water, the inlet, has never been the same. When you go gather a crab there, it's just full of sand. It's really difficult when you talk about what, how do I see it today, the rights, um, I'm conflicted. I, I love inclusion because as a leader I think that inclusion is just like be kind. But when it comes to actually goal stream, that is actually just sort clubs. And then I'm not sure when in the early 70s I suppose is when the goal stream was a decision that was made of all of Saanich and I'm not even sure who the chief of the day was and the councils of the day. But they had made Goldstream all of Sandwich bands. But the actual history to that was just sort of. So there's a change of the, what I see the treaty doing now. I really believe, and I'm going back to the agreement of who we are, that over, overrides any new treaty because we are still here and it's never been the government has never stood up to uphold a hundred percent of that treaty there's so much been taken that's the frustration and where i want to be today as a leader for the sort of chief and council and that's where i am as a as a woman a wife and a mother of my children and I want my children to be educated, to be able to implement 
what we know to be the Douglas Treaty in 1850. There's nothing to change. It should only be getting stronger and more of a land base. As a leader in my family, yes, because we're going to be all on the same page. And if I'm the spokesperson, yes, I do have a voice, and I'm sure that I would be speaking on the behalf of my family, because we're gathered, my boys are gathered of the, the prawns and the crabs and the clams. So yes, I, I, I do feel very strong about having a voice in our Dutch treaty. Yes, I do believe uh, Sarkop and uh, the four, four First Nations, as we call it, we say it, have an opportunity and a voice here and within their own tables because everybody views it different. They're all going to have that same question, but they're going to they're gonna answer that in, in the way they, they see it how they would be answering that. But I think we all have an equal opportunity to defend and, and carry out how we see fit. Put 20 of us together, there's a common ground of that's our right. That's an our inherited right to hunt and fish as formerly as before.